name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In this era of animosity and borderline hatred of our brothers and sisters who do not necessarily see things the same way that we do, it is very hard to understand what the Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, meant when he said that we must love our enemies. Saint Dionysius of Zakynthos would have been an incredible saint even without this story, as the Bishop of Egina, who later retired to his home island of Zakynthos on a monastery, his life would have been emulatable regardless. But we see in him a profound story of what it means to be a Christian in the truest sense of the word. For you see, St. Dionysius had a beloved brother named Constantine. The two were very, very close. And one day, while St. Dionysius was praying in his cell, a knock came at the door, and he saw a man frightened, begging to be hid, and needing to hear his confession. So St. Dionysius took his confession in the holy altar, and he heard this man confess to having got into a drunken argument with someone in the village and killed him in his rage. And as the details of this murder came to fruition, St. Dionysius pieced together that the man that had been killed was his beloved brother, Constantine. The story goes that St. Dionysius had the option of grabbing the blessing cross or grabbing the longi, the spear, that was on the proskimidi. He could have avenged his brother right then and there, with the man crying and his head bent down. St. Dionysius could have easily stabbed his neck and ended his life. But St. Dionysius, this model of Christian sanctity, grabbed the blessing cross, knelt down with the man, and helped instruct him on how to find salvation. St. Dionysius' brother Constantine was well loved in the village. And when the villagers came to arrest, or more likely lynch and kill, the man who had killed him, they asked Dionysius, have you seen anybody? St. Dionysius said, no, why? And they related to him that his brother, his beloved brother Constantine, had been killed. And St. Dionysius wept openly and bitterly for the loss of his brother. And the man who was hidden in St. Dionysius' room despaired, thinking, I've killed this man's brother. He will surely give me over to them, and I will be killed as well. They asked him, have you seen anybody? St. Dionysius says, yes, I have. And he's not far from here. You might find him on the other side of the monastery. And as they looked at St. Dionysius, ferreted him away down to the docks where he got on a boat, left, and according to tradition, later returned to that monastery, becoming a monk and dedicating his life to repentance. My beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, in this era when we can't even forgive differences of opinion or slight injustices to us, we see a man who was able to forgive his brother's murderer. Let us think about St. Dionysius. When our tempers rise up and our pride gets the best of us, when we think, you can't say that to me or you can't cut me off in traffic, let us be patient. Let us be loving. Let us follow the example of this miracle whose relics are incorrupt to this very day. Let us follow his example. Let us love, let us forgive, let us seek Christ our God, who forgives all things for us, so long as we forgive those who trespass against us.